it's Greg here again with another video helping you transform your business, maybe transform your life. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at one-to-many relationships, how they work, and some examples of them inside of Odoo. If you like this video, please go below, click like, click subscribe, and click that little notification thing so that you can get notified when I release new videos. Now, we're going to take off kind of where we left off. We looked in the previous videos at many to one relationships. So I'm going to link to that video above. And now in this one, we're going to be looking at the kind of the reciprocal of that, the one to many. And so anytime you have a many to one um, or you have a say you have a one to many, you're going to have a many to one implied. And uh, we're going to see that right here. So uh, we're going to look at our sales order again. And a perfect example, as you'll see, is that we have uh, these line items on this sales order are the result of a one-to-many relationship. We have one sales order up here at the top, and then we have many line items on it. So that's our one-to-many. And if we mouse over this, we're in developer mode. Remember, um, you, you'd need to be in developer mode to see this. But you can see there that it says that our field is order underscore line and this is inside our sales order so this is the sales order header and then you'll notice that the relation at the bottom there says sale dot order dot line so that's the model that we're connecting to and that the type is a one to many we have one sale order header many lines now let's look at it in the diagram so I modified our diagram that we looked at in our many to one relationship and I've included now how the order lines look on here. So in our sales order, we have our order line has a one-to-many relationship to our sales order line. And so notice how we can have just one order line in this one that's going to relate to many different lines here. So, so you could have a whole bunch of different order lines, doesn't matter how many, and it's going to tie back using this order underscore ID and a many to one relationship back to sales order. So this right here, understanding this is how you're gonna understand one to many and many to one relationships. And we can also go inside of our sales order here in the models inside of the database manager and verify this as well. So we can come in here and see that this is order underscore line and it's our order lines and that's a one to many. And obviously if we click on this, we'll know that this is inside of our sales order and that this, the relationship here is to sale.order.line. And so that's how this works. It's don't, you don't have to overthink it, but I did want to give you one more example just so it give you something to think about. Um, remember how in our previous one, in a many to one, the, the customer is referred to as the partner underscore ID here is in a many one relationship with our contact res.partner table. Well, res.partner has a one to many in it. And that one to many is invoice underscore IDs. It has other one to many's, but this is one of the one to many's. Uh, it has invoice IDs that uh, are a one to many to here. And I should actually, well, let me pick that up, put that there, is, is more accurate. And then this partner ID is going to be a one a mini to one back to our contact. So let's see one to many, one to many, many to one. And so that's the how it how it fits together, and you can see that this way you can have as many journal entries these are called invoice ids here but uh, journal entries could be from an invoice or it could be from a purchase order they could be from just any kind of transaction but this is what how odoo is keeping track of which journal entries go with which customers partners or vendors or, or whoever the contact happens to be this is that relationship so that is how we learn you know that's one to many 
If you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'd like to get your feedback. Uh, if you guys had any ways of, you know, understanding one to many better or what you thought of this exclama exclamation for it. Now, the one thing uh, that I would say is we're now going to do in another series... You know, the next one, we'll be learning about many-to-many -many relationships. And that's going to give us an opportunity to kind of see here in the middle of what happens when we turn sales orders into invoices. And we can do some things there and look at, at some examples of how uh, we work with many-to-many -many relationships in, I, in Odoo. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. And uh, you know, put that in there because this is a short video, but I wanted to, you know, do a short little learn on explaining the the one to many with the diagram. So everyone's got that. And then in our next video, we'll look at how to actually create them in code and well, first with developer mode and then actually with an Odoo module. Thanks for watching.